friends subscribe to my channel and like it is not difficult for you, but it is pleasant for me. Thank you very much friends. Beta Technologies reported an arrangement Tuesday to supply up to 20 electric vertical airplane to Blade Urban Air Mobility. We are truly eager to join forces with Blade in light of the fact that they have the most operational genuine experience and can speak believably about the chances and the advantages of flying airplane all through urban communities, Beta author Kyle Clark told CNBC. Edge gets the freedom to do flight ways that they as of now are not doing with the capacities of this airplane, Clark added. The EVA is truly going to sparkle and supplement to their current helicopter armada. EVAs, otherwise called EVTLs, are electric vertical takeoff and setting down airplane that seem as though they're part helicopter, part plane. A week ago, Clark's Vermont. Based electric vertical airplane creator struck an arrangement to sell in any event 10 EVAs to United Parcel Service for testing on bundle conveyance. New York. Based Blade, which consented to buy 5 EVAs from Beta with an alternative to purchase 15 more, gives helicopter and leader fly flights zeroed in on New York City, Los Angeles, South Florida just as other metropolitan and traveler ejections. What streaming was to Netflix, EVAs are to Blade Blade CEO Rob Weisenthal told CNBC, looking at his organization's change from helicopters and planes to EVAs to the streaming monster's progress from DVDs to streaming. Cutting Edge was established in 2014 to gain EVAs, to give transportation benefits that are practical and carbon impartial. The air versatility supplier said it has 200,000 clients and shipped 40,000 travelers in 2019 preceding the COVID pandemic. Sharp Edge is set to open up to the world through a consolidation with Experience Investment Corporation, a particular reason attaining organization, in an arrangement that closes on May 5. It expands our addressable market in light of the fact that the vast majority of the spots we land, the air terminals are more than 100 years of age, and the heliports more than 35 years of age. What's keeping us away from building new framework or purchasing foundation is commotion, said Weisenthal. Networks don't need boisterous air terminals and heliports around. This addresses that issue. You will actually want to show partners, for example, local area sheets, nearby lawmakers and the overall population this innovation is protected, peaceful and zero outflows. That is the way you start the discussion about building new framework. Tuesday's arrangement makes Blade the fourth client for Beta. Notwithstanding UPS, the organization's first client, United Therapeutics, plans to utilize EVAs to ship human organs. The Air Force is additionally trying Beta EVAs as a feature of its Agility Prime program. Beta EVA is known as the ALIA. 250, and will be conveyed to clients by 2024, forthcoming affirmation from the Federal Aviation Administration. The airplane, which is controlled by an electric battery, has five propellers, permitting it to take off vertically like a helicopter and afterward fly like a plane. It can convey 1,400 pounds or six individuals and can go up to 250 miles at 170 miles each hour once completely energized. The charging cycle requires around 50 minutes. Electric fueled flying is the eventual fate of on. Request organ transportation, and, with the ALIA airplane and charging network, that future is nearer than we might suspect, United Therapeutic CEO Dr. Martin Rothblatt said in an official statement. Rothblatt is on the beta board and is the organizer of Sirius Satellite Radio, which later converged with Contender XM to shape Sirius XM. Money Street research firm Wedbush gauges $300 billion will be spent on EVAs by 2028. The EVA business is getting progressively serious with Joby, Archer, Whisk and others contending to build up the arising innovation. Thank you very much for watching the video, subscribe to K0 now and like.